Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. <laughs> and this is going to be a reading for Capricorn. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know the deal. I'm finna spill the spill and get the real. Yeah, get the real. Because I'm finna get the real. Okay. That meditation I did earlier really did boost up your girl ego. Boost up your girl feelings. Boost up your girl's intuition. So let's see what I can pull out. <laughs> Yahweh, I come to you <laughs> and for an accident, you opened up my third eye for Capricorn. Capricorn is not dealing with me today. They are not going to play with me today. They want to know what's going on. I got a feeling it's some shit. But let's see. Our asshole asks that, you know, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me. I ask you send them right on back to the depths of hell where they belong. Let them burn. Let them fry like a chicken fry. Okay. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. See, Capricorn, I'm being told that you need to meditate. Mm -hmm. You see how I'm feeling? You see how I'm vibing? You see how I'm rocking? No coffee or nothing? You need to meditate because I really feel like your energy is low. You haven't been feeling like yourself. You've been snapping on people. You've been ready to rock people in their shit. And you're just not feeling soft. As for my masculines, you're not feeling masculine. You're feeling soft. So, Capricorn, you already know the vibes. Get you a 10-minute meditation in and let me know how you feel. <laughs> okay. This fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is running out of patience. See, this person has been on your bumper. This is somebody that you used to deal with or somebody new. But they're losing patience because they already know that obviously you don't want them. So their constant efforts are going A, unnoticed, B, uncared for, C, unwarranted. Because this person just be popping, popping back and forth in your life like you're waiting on them. See, this is somebody who thinks that you waited on them, that you were going to wait on them. Now they waiting on you. Pussy. Hmm. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? If you are a tarot reader, you are about to get an influx of customers. Okay? Right? An influx of people who need your advice, need your guidance because... We live in a day and age where there is nothing but food away around town. And people need to know what's going on in their own house. And best believe, I'm seeing the amount of $370 deposited into your account. And this is over a two, three day period. So be prepared to be blessed by the most high for blessing as well as helping those in need. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody that you completely cut off, this person who was a red flag, was narcissistic, was toxic, was non-committal. Yeah, this person is getting a divorce or breaking up, maybe becoming single. This person may be, you know, having to move out. Mm -mm. But when they come back around to their ass now, mm -mm. you are not here to, to lick somebody's wounds, to heal somebody from a breakup. No, ma'am. No, sir. You are not somebody's what do they call those J not jump offs um hmm what do they call those people that you just get with when you're trying to get over somebody whatever y'all know what i'm talking about but you're being <sighs> warned about this person protected from this person because i really feel like this person is has like a really bad temper as well when they don't get what they want they feel like the whole world is against them <laughs> what else is capricorn to them what is Capricorn to know? What is Capricorn to know? And this person may also be fighting their sexuality. This person is confused. Not confused, baby. They just be sneaking around with the same sex. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they be sexing it up. Fucking it up. <laughs> and that's the truth. You won't end up finding out that this person also has a bunch of commitments elsewhere, probably a bunch of kids elsewhere. I'm talking to you, Capricorn. 
You may also be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But either way it go, you need to focus on your money, focus on saving, focus on investing. Also know that you got some money coming in. Woo! Like I said, this person's a narcissist. But anyway, this person who is annoyingly on your bumper, annoyingly pressed about you, annoyingly wanting you back. This person is probably losing it all behind that divorce. Mm -hmm. This also may, may be also a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But this may be the person that they're dating or, you know, we're dating. But they also may have somebody that they're currently dating that's pregnant. So if you get with this person, you're only going to be breaking your own heart because this person ain't going to do number lie, number lie, number lie, la 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 la. If this person got paid to lie, they would be a rich, stinking rich roach, okay? And somebody who also hides behind material things even though they have nothing to offer. It look good though, nothing to offer. Mm -hmm. But this person can't stop thinking about you. Man, you live rent free in this person head to the point where it's just, it's becoming very weird. What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? This person's a weirdo. I'm seeing them watching your page. I'm seeing them following you down the street. I'm seeing them having people like their friends and stuff look up your look up your um whatever you do. I'm seeing their person that they're you know maybe involved with them talk pillow talking about you. But yet, in that same mama would sit there and send a text message to you. Shout out. Foolery. This person also, you know, thinks about you whenever they listen to music. They, you know, they send you messages as well through music. That's part of why you turn your you turn your radar off when you hear a song that got you fucked up. Doop, I don't want to hear it. Doop, I don't want to hear it. Turn it down. Mm -mm. I love you. Mm -mm. <laughs> this person is becoming a better person no they're not they're becoming a better liar they're becoming a better liar this is somebody who wants to come back and be more than friends but like I said that's what I want to do to that person here that is what I want to do to that motherfucker This person is going to come back around trying to lie, scheme, and plot to get you back into their good graces, get back in your good graces. But this person may be going through a divorce, may be going through a breakup, but yet they are still attached to other energies. Even if they're single, they're attached to some baby somewhere. They got a kid somewhere as well. <sighs> this was a runner, a track star, but honestly... The rejection was Yahweh's protection, okay? This is somebody who's sitting up in mar unmarked cars with tinted windows, watching you, wondering, you know, who you screwing, who you going out with, mm, who you looking good for, not you. Why you worry about Capricorn so much when you got a lot on your plate already? This is somebody who also buries themselves in work to try to forget you. But on their break, as soon as they get on their break, as soon as they get a chance to go to their bathroom, guess who name is? Guess who name? They searching up in their search bar. Yours. Mm -hmm. Yours. Yours. This is a weirdo. This is somebody whose life truly isn't together. Don't let them fool you. Don't let their fancy car and the nice shoes and the nice outfit fool you, baby. They broke as fuck. Losing it all because they're if they're getting divorced, oh. That wife or husband is about to take it all because they know so much about this person that can end up leading them to jail. So they're just going to try to appease this person. <laughs> uh, this is somebody who's codependent on you and your energy. This is somebody who realizes that you were the best thing for them and they fumbled your heart. Because mm, they was bad news. <laughs> okay. Showed you unrequited love but knew who you were the whole time. Trifling. They getting what they got. Let's see what's going on with new love though. New love for Capricorn. New love. Whenever you let go of being controlling Capricorn, somebody new is gonna come in. You're only gonna run people away when you're controlling. I understand that you want things to go a certain way, that you don't want, you know, it to go the same way as something from the past. But you gotta let go of that 
let y'all wait. You gotta let things, you know, unfold. And once you see something that you don't like, then that's when you go, you let go. That is when you let go. Okay. What? Give me some advice. <laughs> you needed some advice concerning love, Capricorn, and that's okay. We all need help sometimes. New love for Capricorn. New love. New love for Capricorn. New love. Oh, you focused on your glow up. Oh, you blowing up, Capricorn. You blowing up. You glowing up so much that you were about to attract somebody just as fine. Ooh, caliente. Tell me more. New love for Capricorn. Hold up, man. This is gonna be somebody that you may have a past life relationship with. This is somebody that you know your soul made from the ethers. Literally, it's gonna be safe to love this person. Your soul made coming in. Wow, your soulmate comes in. You're going to have that rusty, crusty ex that's going to want a second chance, third, fourth, fifth, sixtieth, sixtieth chance. Like, at this point, they're they going to keep trying. Mm-hmm. And just feel, they feel like persistence is key with you because it, it worked in the past, but not anymore. This person that you're going to meet in the future is going to have a lot of chemistry towards you. They're going to be very clingy, very all touchy-touchy on you, very kissy-kissy. This person is going to love the fact that you're free. You're going to bring a fire to this person's life that they haven't experienced before. They're going to love the way that you love yourself, that you put yourself first. They're going to love how you stand in your power. They're going to love how business-minded you are. This person may not have the funds. like They may not be completely financially stable, but they don't mind spending a little coin. Okay, they ain't, They're not selfish. But this is somebody that you could possibly end up marrying. And you're going to be happy. <laughs> But you got somebody in the past that's wishing you bad luck and love. So if you're wondering why your love life continuously sucks, it's because people are in the background. Never let her find love. Never let him find love. Never let him or never let her, you know, be able to be married. Just always bring them thoughts and, and users. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I just tapped into something. Oh, yep. I just heard something. Yep. That's the truth. Oh, that's the truth, baby. People been controlling your life behind the scenes in order for you to not find love. Because mm. they know you got everything else. So if you had love, oh, you completely happy. Mm -mm -mm. That's what they don't want to see. Mm -hmm. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice. Split. Okay. Be aware of some mother figure in your life trying to come back in just to turn your life upside down this is probably one of the people who does magic on you or does magic on your love life behind the scenes don't trust this bitch this whole smile on your face but be behind your back trying to talk to your person to make them not want to be with you oh yeah um yeah she was you know out late last night he was actually on the phone i heard a conversation Shut the fuck up. You miserable bitch. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Whoa. Give me some advice for Capricorn. I'm also hearing you ask and you shall receive. You may be feeling like, you know, you're going through hard times at this point, at this moment in time. But it's okay because it's only gearing you up for your season. Like... Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're being taught to save money, Capricorn. You've been spinning, 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 and you need to chill on that, okay? You also been spending money on, you know, addictions like liquor and, you know, fun time things like weed, but you need to cut back. Cut back because that's the way that these people are able to do potions and magic on you. Mm-hmm. You got people in the background wanting to see you sad. They want to see you sad. And also, if you're a tarot reader, they don't want to see you use your intuition. They don't want you to help people. Because by you helping people, it's going to make the fucked up people, the karmic people, become exposed. You're exposing karmic people. People's person who watches your videos are pissed because you are making their person wake the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Keep doing your thing, boo. Also, you got people that want to come back around just to be able to have some fun with you. They're going to lie. They're going to deceive just to get a little piece of cooch, a little piece of dick. 
Ugh, these are people who are in literal players. They have nothing to offer. All they want to do is take. All they want to do is take. Taking assholes. Ugh, let's get you some messages. To somebody who feels like you're their property. They just feel like, you know, they're they're delusional. You've already walked away from this dead situation. You don't want this person. This person's a weirdo. A desperate weirdo. Ugh. Motherfucker don't even wash their ass before they come and look on what you... They don't wash their ass before they come and stalk you. They don't brush their teeth because, before they go and talk shit about you. They don't even go and wash their face before they're all in your business. Duskies. Give me some information for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Make a wish, Capricorn. It's going to be granted by the end of the week. Okay. Anyway, get out your own way. You're holding yourself back by holding on to people, places, and addictions that don't serve you. That's making you gain weight. That liquor is the reason why you got that fat ass side and that big ass pooch. And you're not wondering, you're not understanding how it's not leaving. That's why you need it. You're being called to work out more. You need to move your body. You need to meditate. You need to get your aura back up. You need to basically rebuild that force field around you of protection. And the only way by doing it is by working. It's by moving your body. It's by, you know, heating up that inner, um, what is your, your, uh, your root chakra? You got to heat it up. So, yeah. This person who wants to come back ain't nothing but an F boy and an F girl. And they're a vain person. So you're going to need to use your judgment for the rest, the rest of the, 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 the rest of the week. This person don't want me to talk to you because you're going to have a lot of family members that try to come back in your life and play kumbaya. Bitch, I remember when I was at the bottom and you wouldn't even give a bitch a handout. I remember how you did me, how you talked about me, how y'all motherfuckers huh, did not have my best interest. You're gonna have your you're gonna have old people that you no longer fuck with come back. Just know that your family members are the prime people doing magic on your life because their life is fucking sucking. They're seeing that you're making moves and it makes them mad. <laughs> You got somebody from your past who wants to control you. This is somebody who slept on you, though. But this is somebody who also has a bunch of work days. And it's broke as fuck. So if you get in a relationship with them, you're going to have to split the bills. And they be having sex with any and everybody in their car. Now, for my tarot reader, okay? Believe in your gifts, okay? That is what's going to make you, A, successful, B, a pillar of help to the community, and C, it's going to it's gonna show Yahweh that, hey, maybe, maybe I should up the protection on my little one because they're doing the Lord's work. Don't let these people make you feel like, oh, you're doing demon shit. No, baby. Conjuring up shit to keep somebody from finding love and keep somebody from being successful, that's demon shit reading into a person's life to help them so that they don't become used and abused that's god shit mm -hmm. this person who's from the past who's love sick is gonna come and reach out to you love bombing you because you need to be careful of this person and they're gonna try to take you out on a date they're gonna spend the last bit of their little change just to take you out on a date Child. So expect this person to reach out to you by the end of the day or the end of the week. Okay? Also, Capricorn, keep your posture right. I have a feeling that some of you all are about to start modeling. So you need to go ahead and get your get your posture right because you're going to have to stand like that, especially when you're walking. You also have people from your past as well as family members who see your gift and it scares them. Mm -hmm. These are people who thought that they can get one over on you, thought that it would be easy to manipulate you not knowing that you are a seer. Your intuition tells you everything. They were fools. <laughs> Ooh, foolish, foolish, foolish they were. Let's get you some angel messages. Know that you're on the right track and you're about to get in a relationship where somebody helps you. See, this person that you're going to end up marrying, they're going to help you. 
finally somebody comes in your life who is not a weirdo, who is not an opportunist, and actually want to see you win. Bam! On that ass. Anyway, this was your message, Capricorn. And stability and security is coming. More protection for you and stability. My God. Mm-hmm. I want to thank y'all for watching, you know, getting all your much needed advice. Because, baby, this weirdo is something else. Your family is something else. And, baby, you're something else. <laughs> but, anyway, I want to thank you all. I love y'all. And if you want to find your girl on any social media or get your girl on the phone for a personal reading, everything will be in my description box below. Bye, my loves. Mwah.